Hello, um, in this video we're going to take a look at two more complicated examples of changing the subject of the formula. Again, just to reiterate, these will not be standalone questions at C1, but rather uh, just a skill that you need to be able to do in order to answer questions. So here we have got y equals 5x minus t divided by x minus 8. The first thing that we are going to do here is get rid of this divide by x minus 8 by multiplying both sides by x minus 8. So what I end up with here is y bracket x minus 8 equals 5x minus t. All that I've done there is multiply both sides by x minus 8. That gets rid of the divide by x minus 8 over here. And because I've multiplied y by x minus 8, I can say that that is y bracket x minus 8 equals the 5x minus t. Um, at this point I'm now going to um, I'm now going to expand this bracket. I get yx minus 8y equals 5x minus t. I'm looking to try and get x, all of the x's together on the same side. So um, let's let's do that now. So let's rearrange this so I get my 5x and my yx together. So I've got yx minus 5x equals 8y minus t. So I've just added um, 8y to both sides and subtracted 5x to both sides there. I've just done two steps at once essentially. Now <clears throat> from this point uh, I'm faced with a slight problem. I have yx minus 5x here and I'm looking to just isolate that x by itself. Now I can't simplify this. Um, what I can do however is factorise it. If I factorise it, it takes the factor of x out of yx and out of, y of minus 5x. So if I factorise it I end up with x bracket y minus 5 and that's going to be equal to 8y minus t. Then what I'm left with, well, I've got x multiplied by y minus 5 equals 8y minus t. So then I can just divide by this y minus 5 and that will leave x on its own. And so I'll get 8y minus t over y minus 5. And that would be my final answer. So just to recap here, this is kind of the step that will confuse most people in that they need to bring all of the x's to one side and even though it doesn't simplify we can still isolate that um, the the variable the x variable by factorizing it at this at this stage so let's take a look at a slightly longer example but still following the same principles um, so here I've got div, uh, y equals 5x minus ax plus 7 divided by 2x plus by minus xy. First thing that I'm going to do is simply uh, multiply both sides by 2x plus by minus xy. So what that will leave me with is y bracket 2x plus by minus xy uh, is equal to 5x minus ax plus 7. From this point I can then expand this bracket here. So what I end up with is 2xy plus by squared minus xy squared is equal to 5x minus ax plus 7. So like we did in the last video, I want to get all of the terms that involve the letter that I'm trying to make the subject. So I'm trying to make x the subject, so I need all terms that involve the x on the same side. So what I can do is I'm going to subtract the 5x and add the ax. That will get all of the x's onto this left hand side of the equal sign. So subtract the 5x, add the ax. So let's do that now. So that will give me 2xy plus by squared minus xy squared. Now we're going to subtract 5x, add the ax, and that leaves me with just 
left on that side. Now, have I got all of the x's on one side of the equal sign? Yes, I have. However, I've also got this by squared. That doesn't involve any x's, so that needs to go to the right-hand side. So let's subtract that. And so that will leave me with uh, 2xy minus xy squared minus 5x plus ax uh, is equal to 7. And now we're subtracting this by squared. Um, so we're left with, with that there. Now, like we did here, we're at this stage where we've got all of the x's on one side. We now need to take that factor of x out of each of those terms by factorising it, putting the x on the outside of the bracket. So if I take the factor of x out, what I'm left with is x bracket 2y minus y squared minus 5 uh, plus a and that is equal to 7 minus b y squared. From here I can then say well okay well I've got x multiplied by all of this lot in here is equal to 7 minus b y squared. What can I do to find out what just x is? Well if it's x times by this I just need to divide by that quantity in there and so what I end up with is x equals 7 minus b y squared divided by 2y minus y squared minus 5 plus a. And that would be my final answer.